Today we're checking out the Samurai Blade. Holy crap! Oh my god! Yeah, red pick, let's go! I wasn't expecting that. That was sick. Look at me go, dude. Uh, it has insane sound effects, cool synergies, its own unique sprite. It looks like it's literally jiggling. It's sick. So when you swing it, it's oh my god! <laughs> It's literally massive, man. Um, do we need this guy roll, maybe? Oh, I should have taken it. Whatever. Maybe I get a good pill or something. Tears down. Whatever. Are you able to get the chest with the sword? No, you are actually not. Very interesting. So it's not like the forgotten, right? And you can hear that big sound effect that's going on, right? And I believe that's basically when it's charged up. By not doing anything for a long time, you can see it's charged up. Now it's going vibration mode. Boom. And now you can actually... Wait, does that mean then you can pick things up? Wait a second, what? Oh, maybe it pick up uh, everything except chest. Like, it doesn't open chests. Interesting. But yeah, when you don't uh, whip out the sword very often, you get a big boom. I don't know how I didn't hit people there, but whatever. Or you can just swing it, and it's a, a bit of a less boom. But, you know, there's some mechanics here that are pretty cool. It has some synergies with stats. Obviously, the higher damage that you have, the more damage you're going to do. I believe it actually has a synergy with shot speed, making it so that you swing faster. And tears ups actually make it so you charge up faster. You're, like, big swing, that one, right? So for the first time ever, an item that is a tier modifier actually has a use of shot speed. Back off mom's knife and brimstone. This is the real powerhouse. Let's go fight this boss. You'll also see in the top left, there's this weird bar, right? And uh, by Larry Jr., my lord. <laughs> and basically when I'm doing damage, that weird bar goes all the way up and there's that symbol next to it. The symbols mean different stat effects. Now I'm unsure how it specifically works. During testing, I couldn't really figure it out, but the the idea is that when that bar gets full by dealing damage, you can see that it changes to a different symbol. The symbols mean different things. Like that sword symbol right there just means that I have an increase in damage. That one right there means that I can swing faster, you can kind of see it. Uh, that one I believe is a range up. What about in here? Let's take left item. Depression, very cool. Binding of Isaac continuing to be the most real game on the planet. We also saw that monstrous symbol earlier, that means you deal more damage to bosses. So the thing I'm confused about is um, I'm not sure if it applies permanently or if it's like for the room, you know what I mean? Like right now, I guess I just have a higher than usual damage up. Now I swing faster for the room. Let's see how fast I can swing. One, two, three. Oh my God, there's a combo system? What, what? That's sick. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. It looks like you do a half semicircle, a big circle, and then you can do a 360, right? Oh, so there's actually, if you swing it three times in a row, you get a different set, a subset of uh, swings. But basically my symbol keeps changing and I'm uncertain if it means that I'm just having different effects all the time or the effects are permanent and I'm increasing my chance. I'm pretty sure it's just, you know, for the, like right now, I have a range up, you know, right now. And then when it switches, that range up will go away, I think. This is boss killing damage, so let's use this as an opportunity to actually take care of Wormwood. I don't know why I assumed it would be Wormwood, it's actually Rainmaker. Boom. You know what, we can actually see how much damage we're doing. And does it seem like I'm doing less now? <laughs> it seems like I'm doing more. Well, whatever, Rainmaker's done. Goodbye. We have blind, so I'm not going to devil deals. Absolutely not. Uh, not checking my shop either because I'm blind, right? Speed up school. Let's just go down. All right. So we have an immediate treasure room right below us. You'd love to see it. I'll take damage on the way down because I'm lazy and don't want to wait. We'll take the tooth and nail. I never played Metal Gear Revengeance, but I, like many other people, got their exposure to the game through absolute memes. I've always wanted to play a Metal Gear game. I just, I've never gotten around to it, I suppose. Which is weird because I'm super into stealth in video games, yet I've never played Metal Gear. What's wrong with me? Oh, I like the animation. You see that? You take it out of the, the little sheath and it stays there. And then when it's charged, it's boom, ready to go. That's actually insane attention to detail. No, that's actually kind of sick. So I did pick up that bomb just then. So I'm assuming that you can pick up pickups with uh, the sword, but not open chests, which is a uh, kind of an interesting duality because that's not how that usually works. You know, usually when you have like a melee character like the Forgotten, you just can interact with everything, but uh, not this guy, I guess. I guess you could even consider this kind of its own little character, right? Because the way this guy is playing is completely different from anything I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, let's charge up our Murasama. Boom, there we go, walk in here. Blub, you're gonna die real fast. Let's try not to get hit again though, because I don't want to lose my deal chance. That angel is very important to me. There is so much blood that comes out everywhere when you do a big swing. <laughs> when you get a kill on a big charge swing, dude, it's just like blood everywhere. Uh, we 
did not get an angel, so I'll just take this, I think. HP could be pretty good for us because we are melee based, right? Let's go to the mirror dimension. Actually, you know what? Wait a second. Boom. Smart, right? Boom. Uh, debatably smart. <laughs> I didn't actually get anything. Let's try uh, seeing if we can get something from here. So I'm wondering if the combo is better, more DPS wise, or the charge, right? I mean, the charge takes a long time to happen. I imagine it's better to just... Yeah, it's, it's better than just swing. You know what? During that short period of time, I had boss damage up, and it felt like my damage was up. And then it felt like it was gone the moment I changed my symbols, right? So, I'm gonna go with the assumption that the symbol gives you a buff based on what just, like, what's showing up. It's not permanent, right? Like, I can't just get this tears up that I have right now and just keep it. I think it's constantly switching, which is, uh, I, I think, actually cooler that way because it always switches uh, how you're going to be using the sword instead of it just being very bland. Lamal, I'm just going to spam my keys, you know, like uh, spirit sword or something, right? Does the blood look different to you guys or is that just me? I mean, I'm not saying like an, I, I'm an absolute Isaac master and I know what the blood looks like in Isaac, but I will say that uh, this looks a little bit more special, right? Like they're more uh, circular. I don't know. I just think the blood looks kind of cool and uh, whenever you kill things with uh, the Marissa. Sama. Maybe something good in here, Mr. Me, another roll. I don't have anything to roll, so I'll probably roll the treasure room. Oh, that was kind of weird. What? 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 What is this? <laughs> What's going on here? What is that melody? I have a feeling this is not supposed to happen. <laughs> Uh, it looks like I still have the sword hitbox on my character. The visuals have just gone off screen. The ultimate mirror dimension, actually. Don't go to the- <laughs> Do not go to a large room with the mirror dimension with Murasama. Worst mistake of my life. Suppose we could roll this. You know, I have time. Sure. A little bit of, uh, Beelzebub transformation progress. Oh my god, it actually is really satisfying to get the charge attack off. Like, just straight up, it, this feels good to use. <laughs> I don't even need the visuals, just like walking around and slamming things with a giant sword just feels good. Alright, charge the Murasama again, this time walk in here. And then we go crazy with the spam, except we don't die and be stupid about it. Uh-oh. Oh, I almost actually walked into that tier, but we're good. Swipe away that leech, we get a tears up. We know this actually does affect us, which is good. Wait a second, does the thing insta-recharge? Oh! Look at that! Okay, see, this is what I like. I like finding new things in games and just like trying to pick up on it and increase my APM and become a better gamer, right? So we have the charge while in game. You know, boom, it takes that long, right? But when you walk in a room, it actually gives you an instant charge. So you can just farm it like this. So there's no reason to wait and then walk in a room to get a charge. I wonder, is it like camel pants where if you do it too early, you don't get the charge attack? No, that was the charge attack. That was 100% the charge attack. I'm holding down a direction the moment I walk in here and I'm getting it. Interesting to note that you can also just hold down the button to shoot and you just have the combo. I'm, I'm playing it like Spirit Sword so far where I'm constantly tapping the keys, but this might be a lot easier. Oh wait, it is like Camo Pants! <gasps> That's, this is how you know I have Gonga Isaac knowledge because I knew they would code it the same, right? So you have to wait actually and then you get the charge attack. So do not, if you're running this item, ever, ever, ever hold down the shooting button while walking into a room because you will miss out on your big charge attack. It's just not worth it. Same thing applies to camo pants. I don't know why they did that, but that's just how it is. And I thought that would be the case, which is why I called it out. I actually doubted myself for a second, but it looks like I was correct. Ooh. Bit of a weirdo placement for a boss, but I'm down. What's down here? I have to know, right? Like, I mean, there's just no situation where I do not. Massive tears up. What happens? I uh, swing really fast, that's for sure. Pretty sure my charge time is the same though, right? Because we need shot speed up in order to increase this. Let's see if the extra swing speed and damage down was worth it, or I just boned myself. Uh, to be fair, Tough Twins is not a good way to really test this because they have very squishy health bars. But let's see. That uh, seems good to me, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy, but that seems pretty powerful. Very anime. We'll take the tropicamide and then we'll go. Now don't get me wrong. Like I said, Tough Twins were not a good example. Uh, is this better? Okay, this is more what I was thinking would happen if I picked up almond milk, right? Oh, oh god. Uh oh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> I had a feeling. Obviously, I'm still gonna take it, and we're gonna roll with it 100%. I just gotta play a little bit more careful because I take kind of a long time to kill enemies now. 
Nothing like adding a little bit of challenge to what you're doing, right? Whoopsies. I really like the, uh, the like sheath effect that happens whenever you hit the enemy, right? You can see like a bunch of uh, white flashes. The effects on this are really, really cool. Very detailed. Why do I feel like having shot speed of this character is the number one thing you want? Could you imagine just spamming charge attacks constantly because you have maximum shot speed? That sounds sick. No way, right? Oh my god, my damage is low, dude! Okay, alright, alright. I needed to have that happen, honestly. In order to really test my limits, I needed to push it and see how much I could uh, not kill an enemy, which is uh, pretty big. I could not kill enemies pretty big. <laughs> we gotta be careful. That's okay, though. Uh, this gives us a free item. We can put that in the secret room and maybe rig. What is this? Hierophant for bone hearts? Okay. Let's take this now, then protect them with my soul heart, and then we'll fill in our red hearts a little bit. And then let's go find our uh, secret room. Oh, I found it. Nice. What's in here? Cancer? Oh my god. Do I even really need to swing that much faster? <laughs> I guess not, but it's more fun than a speed up. There is also like straight up a crit chance. Like luck does affect this item by the way. Right? So far it's just a flat damage up. But you know, it's still pretty cool knowing that if your luck is high, you get perfection or something. You will just naturally be dealing more damage because of the uh, the crit chance mechanic. I'm gonna roll both of you. Unfortunately, no batteries on this floor, so we're just gonna have to settle with whatever we get, right? But maybe whatever we get is absolute peak. Oh, definitely not. I probably just have, I'm gonna have to take whatever they give me. Yeah, I'll just take it. It's okay. Thank you very much. What about in here? Ooh, guppy. Oh, I had... Oh, I had the habit. Ooh. ooh. Oh, well, whatever. What am I gonna get? Death certificate? Polyphemus? Please, let's be real here. In reality, this totally could have happened, and I'm majorly disappointed. <laughs> We're here to swing swords and swing swords only. Also, open random secret rooms that I'm not expecting whatsoever. What's inside of you? Watch, there's another item anyway. Boom. Oh my god! Please! <laughs> I know I said I wanted to swing an anime sword, but I immediately regret it. Please give me a god item. It would be sick. Am I knocking that guy back with my sword? Charge at me, I dare you. That's cool. <laughs> I'm sure I'm ricocheting this guy away. Another roll, maybe? Oh! Oh, do we want binge? You know what? I'll take a binge, absolutely. This seems perfect. Increasing my stats, increasing my health, and yet not taking away focus from this very epic anime sword. Alright, now I feel a lot better about the fact that I forgot about habit. You know, we at least got a, a gonga item. Oh, Super Troll Bob, no thank you. Charmed Tears, Charmed Sword? Or Blind with the Book of Sin, no thanks. Health to down. I don't care, I got binge eater. Give me this HP up. Deep pockets in the shop? Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't see a reason why not, thank you. And entering this boss, whoever they may be, luckily it's not Gideon. We'll have a perfectly timed roll. Let's see what our damage looks like. Honestly, it doesn't even look too bad. It looks okay. I can deal with this, right? Like, look at that. That's that's respectable damage. Don't don't knock it. Look at that, we even got the fast hornful kill for the uh, non-extra bonus. Yippee. HP versus HP? No thank you, let's roll this key piece. Yeah, this is this is actually absurdly powerful. What? Okay, cool. Maybe use this a bit? You never know when you get a pedestal randomly. It's not gonna happen. Oh! It happened! It's only Stigmata, but I can't believe I actually got a payout from this guy. Let's roll? Uh, damage, HP. Well, I think the obvious choice is damage, and then circle of protection is super cool. And then we'll just take the, the HP up. Cool stuff! Honestly, so far with this item, it's been exactly what I'm looking for. A really cool alternative that is so different and actually really in depth with mechanics that I like to master. It just feels like its own character at this point, which is really cool. I'm trying to get a way to increase my shot speed too, because I want to see like how fast you can really charge up your Murasama. Assuming you have absurd shot speed, right? Ooh, I want that. Maybe when I get more money. That might have been the greediest thing I've ever done, but it was so worth it. Did you see how clean that was? I actually watched the FNAF movie before recording this. And, uh, you know, obviously no spoilers for me, but I was actually pleasantly surprised of how much I enjoyed it. To be honest with you, I feel like that's the type of movie that there's like two ways to review it. There's the one way, which is looking at it, you know, critically. And then there's the other way, which is, oh my god, I'm a FNAF lore head. Is this a good film? Was there anything cool in this shop? Oh my god, School Bag made its return. I can't believe I actually managed to get this item on this run. Sick. I thought to myself, the movie is probably going to be bad if I'm being real, you know, and I look at it critically, but I'm going to enjoy 
it because it's FNAF and FNAF is video games and video games are awesome. And the more people really enjoy these video game stuff, the more money these things make and the more content of these things that we get, right? It's like a perpetual cycle. So I was excited to see it no matter what, but honestly, I didn't even need to look at it that way. It was a good film, like critically. I don't think it was the end all be all like Martin Scorsese, the best film I've ever seen in my life. But uh, I highly recommend people see it, you know? A, a pleasantly like very surprised, you know, that was a cool film and I'm glad I watched it. Oh! This doesn't work, does it? Like, it doesn't at all. Oh my goodness me! Guys, we got something cooking. Let's go, dude. Oh yeah, this is real good. Is the popping sound louder than usual, or is that just me? <laughs> um, but you know, that was that was the, the critical way to look at it. You know what? It's a good movie, and I would say you can watch it, mainly because it's uh, the current new thing, and people like watching it. Now, you look at it from a, a FNAF lorehead perspective, oh my guys, it's absolute cinema, Jesus Christ. <laughs> The things I spotted in that movie are crazy. I was going nuts, theorizing in my own head about what this means for the future of FNAF lore. I was actually thinking to myself while watching it, I was like, oh my god, if there was ever like some kind of Isaac film that came out, I would cry tears of joy. That would be so sick. But uh, yeah, overall, if you are into FNAF or even ironically into FNAF, I would say watch it. And even if you aren't, eh, go watch it. It's, it's fun. Now our damage has skyrocketed, thank goodness, because we have found a very rare, very beautiful, natural spawning C-section, and you love to see it. Yeah, this is making me want to actually genuinely play Metal Gear Revengeance and just see what it's all about. I know it's not exactly a, the Metal Gear game people always talk about. People usually talk about like 1 and 2, right? And, and then the third one as well. But, you know, either way, I, I kind of want to play Metal Gear now. I've been wanting to for a long time. I remember when 5 came out, that was all people were ever talking about. And I never even touched it. I just let people do their thing. Maybe I'd be into it. Who knows? Oh my god! <laughs> The Ganga Luck drop? That was sick. Also, reminder that luck does affect me. These swings now have a higher chance to crit. That's so cool. Just for that, I feel like no matter what, Deep Pockets has... Like, I, I have a newfound respect for Deep Pockets, you know what I mean? Like, only for that drop alone, I feel like I want to take Deep Pockets maybe like 30% more than I would have previously done. They just got bumped up on the tier list. Very, very good. Low gaming is done. I land a 0.4% chance. Could you imagine? It's okay. Okay, next floor, I will not be getting hit. Do not quote me on that. Binding of Isaac Gaming. Let's go. First of all, check the crane game though. Ah, oh, no crane game. I saw a video of a guy called Another Matt playing Isaac. By the way, beautiful name. Shout outs to you. <laughs> and they were doing like this, um, this like quiz for Isaac. Like, oh, let's uh, see what your Isaac knowledge is all about. I watched the video. Super entertaining. I want to do it. Let me on. I want to. I want to do the Isaac quiz. <laughs> Put me on! That sounds like fun! Do I really want to go just for the Isaac quiz or do I kind of want to go because it sounds funny being on a, a channel that is also another Matt playing Isaac? Maybe a little bit of both, you know? <laughs> depends on how far you want to lean into the irony. It really depends on the day, right? Sometimes you're feeling a little bit cringe and sometimes you're feeling a little bit of a, yeah, that's a fair play. I won't argue that. But yeah, honestly, a shout out to that another Matt playing Isaac. They make really cool videos. Videos that I wish I could make, honestly. But I simply just do not own the time to do that. There's just no more time in the day. I remember when adults used to tell me that, and I was like, what the hell are you talking about? I spend 90% of my time playing Binding of Isaac and Team Fortress 2. There's all the time in the world. God, was I wrong. <laughs> Well, I actually did manage to get our deal. It's guaranteed. I need to hurry up. I have 20 seconds. What's in here? Uh, roll? <laughs> Why? That's so good. Take it every, everything. Yes. All right, let's go. Let's go fight Hush. Guys, that reroll almost killed me. It was that good. Let's see what's inside of our chest. Absolutely nothing, except it's something. Treasure room left. Ooh, wow. I've never seen two of the same HP ups on a single pedestal through Binge Eater. That's kind of funny. <laughs> um... Is I don't care about either, honestly. I guess I'm gonna just start taking HP again, right? I did spend a lot of it on that devil just for those items. Uh, conjoined? You know what? We could also start going for conjoined. I don't think conjoined works with Murasama, but it's something that we should uh, test out just in case, right? If we get the opportunity. Oh, hello! I always love finding you. What do you uh, give me? You gave me some dog food. Very cool. We got this guy, more dog food in here. It seems like a perfect opportunity to donate. Donating also can just give you a luck up. There you go, there's one of them. I typically only get one luck up from donating. I feel like it's hard coded. I'm pretty sure it's not, but it, it really does feel like it. 
I only get plus one luck up from donating, like, a lot from there. Never more. We got a hush fight, except this time I have the power of range and damage and eye belial and maybe a little c-section, so uh, things will be really easy for us. Let's go slap around this hush. Now for Murasama, as far as I know, there are synergies, like how this Murasama and C-section are working, but for most, like, tier effects, it's not really, like, a defined synergy, custom implementation. It's more like it just gets added on top. So, you know, for things like Brimstone and stuff, yeah, you won't be seeing anything too special. But that's okay, because the fact that this itself is already this special looking is absurd, right? The work put into having this awesome sword is nuts, and I, it will not be understated. Not on this channel, not on my watch. I highly recommend every single modder that goes out of their way to make a mod that they think is, you know, quality and they really put their time into it. I, I don't know, just put like a, a little Ko-Fi link in your in your mod descriptions. No one's stopping you. Maybe someone will, uh, you know, support you. You guys deserve more support than you constantly get right now, right? Like, I was having a talk with uh, TechSec, the uh, person behind the Too Many D6s mod, and I just told him, you know what, dude? I play your mod so often, and it's really cool the amount of work that goes in and the ideas that come out of it. Just put a Ko-Fi link in your, in your workshop. Why not? And you know what? They eventually came around to it. They're like, sure. Because... Who wouldn't want to support someone who goes out of their way to create something for the community as cool as, you know, too many D6s or Time Machine mod or Murasama mod? Like, look at the thing I'm playing right now! Look at what's going on! You don't see this in Isaac ever! I can't leave behind the soul of Isaac. We also have a roll ready. We're gonna go probably all the way to the dark room and use it. I don't expect the craziest of items, but I think maybe it could happen, right? And never count yourself out when it comes to Isaac because you never know when something random happens and you find Polyphemus in a cross space. I'm not kidding. That's happened to me before. I've gotten the craziest item from cross spaces. I, it's actually unbelievable. Some 2020s in there, a Polyphemus one time, I remember. And then sometimes you guys tag me on Twitter with rare events that happen in Isaac. Like, you guys will screenshot when you find the lazy worm or when you find like a, a magic mushroom off a mushroom and it's like it's like the coolest thing ever it's like look Matt I got a crazy drop and I'm just thinking to myself good job dude that's sick what in this what is this room you walk into a room and a tiny little beggar guy asks for your health what do you do I give him a half a heart and I say you know what thanks for the two bombs go ahead and die real quick kablamo uh, other than that I think we just fight Satan real quick goodbye you're gonna die should I roll my stats sure why not there goes every bit of tears up I've ever had. My damage got better, and I feel like my range got massive. <laughs> my sword is humongous. Range does matter for me, not just because of the sword, right? But, the, you know, C-section range is always going to be good. Feels like my damage is relatively the same, so I'd consider this a buff. We got chest gaming here. I can't tell what that is. Let's go ahead. And that's a two-heart deal, Judas. Yeah. Let's roll, it's more fun this way. Eden's Blessing, I will do what I typically do, which is take it and then tell you guys what I get on the next run. Okay, uh, somehow swiping at the husk, which has a very circular body with my giant sword, uh, something in my brain clicked. I don't know how to explain it guys, but that was really satisfying. <laughs> Just the idea- like, look at this! You cannot tell me this isn't satisfying gameplay. I don't care how much of like a, oh my god, it's YouTube ASMR satisfying grinding moment. I don't care. It literally is. Look what I just performed. That's sick. <laughs> D100, not gonna do because I don't want to lose my Murasama. We have a ready D6. Let's go use it. I can't even forget that I have school bag. I just really haven't found a use for it yet. Uh, those are not the use for it either. D8 again. Probably shouldn't, but it's fun this way. My tears are back. My range is still high. My damage went a little bit lower. I actually think this is probably my favorite version of this build. High tier rate and high range seems like a really good way to go for Murasama, right? Infinite AoE is strong. We get a D1 here, which is good. An extra item. We're gonna open both of these. Metronome will give me death certificate, and I'm gonna finally freak out because I'm finally gonna get it. Nope. Maybe one day. Oh my god. The Ganga swipe, everything is just dying immediately. I'm telling you, dude, there's like special or just more blood effects with specifically Murasama. Another chest here, Monstro's Lung, I gotta know. I don't think it'll work, obviously. Uh, but you know, we had to figure it out. Yeah, no, it does not work. Roll these, Lactrophagy, this could be cool, right? I, I, does this even work with C-section? Uh, yeah, it does. Guys, look at the amount of blood splats that happened. Check this out. Boom. Immediately, there's blood everywhere. Wow, what an item. This thing is sick. Oh my 
god, I love it! I actually love this item. I have fallen in love with an item. There's so much blood. I should put on the uh, the bloody Easter egg. If you didn't know, uh, you know, Isaac has multiple different Easter egg seeds, right? And when you input them, you just get to save the seed on your uh, save file and you get to have it forever. You can use it. I believe my first dead god file has all Easter eggs. And one of them is just increased blood, like all over, just more gore everywhere. So playing with the Murasama and that Easter egg would be pretty cool. I, I did that once with, um, I think it was Tainted Samson. And the blood goes crazy when you have that Easter egg on. Oh, I'll take $3 bill, thank you. Sometimes I get comments, ooh, can join progress, asking that I should do a run with every single Easter egg enabled. Because, you know, again, I do have every single Easter egg. But, uh, unfortunately, I have tried that. I, I really have. I don't see a way it's possible to win. <laughs> I could play with, you know every single easter egg enabled that makes it possible to win the game but at that point it's not really like that fun so that's why you haven't really seen any easter egg videos from me but maybe i'll come up with some idea or you guys will you know i have to owe a lot of ideas to you guys 100 percent like a lot of the times i'll just boot open the steam workshop and i'll see whatever is cool sometimes i'll come up with my own ideas but sometimes you guys will give me the coolest ideas ever and i i, I get to play isaac in a unique way because you guys suggested something cool so shout outs to you guys as well I'm just happy to be back. I'm happy to be playing Isaac again. I'm happy to see my friends again, aka you guys, of course, duh. And I'm happy to be playing this Murasama mod, which uh, gave me the biggest smile on my face because it was really fun, actually. We're going to say goodbye to the lamb really quickly. Goodbye to that weird charge bar that didn't really seem to do much, but whatever. Goodbye to my super overpowered run and hello to this chest. GG's.